Hey guys, geek into everyone. On this video, I'm gonna tell you differences between working directory, staging area, and repository in Git. So take a look to the picture on the screen. All these three places, working directory, staging area, and repository in Git, is the places where file changes can reside. Let's start with the working directory. So when you already initialize the Git on your operational system, and imagine you work on the project and made some changes. For example, you create a file and write a code inside this file. In this way, you are dealing with your project working directory. This project working directory is available on your computer file system. And all the changes you make will remain in the working directory. So you created a file and wrote some code inside and now the status of this file is untracked. That means Git doesn't know about changes you made. If you want to let Git know about changes, you have to move these changes. In our case, it is the file with the code. You have to move this file into staging area. To move the file into staging area, you have to run git add command. What is this changing area? Changing area is an area which helps Git knows what are differences between current commit and future commit. Staging area can be described as a preview of your next commit. By the way, it is possible to add changes into staging area and it's possible to remove these changes from staging area as well. Staging area can be considered as a real area where a git stores changes. So, and last entity is a git repository. If you want to save changes into git file system, you have to run git commit command. By this command, you can save all changes from staging area to git file system, to git repository. So git repository is a data structure used to store metadata for sets of files and directories. Git repository contains the collection of files as well as the history of changes made of those files. So if you want to check what is going on on git, you can use git status command. By git status command, you can check status of changes you made. So let's check it out how it works in practical way. Okay, let's start a practical part. First of all, I'm going to show you information about my operational system. I run this command, you name minus a option. By this command, you can print information about your operational system. You see Ubuntu and I highlight the version. So uh, let's clear the terminal. Uh, on my current working directory, uh, on the directory git dir, I created this directory for the git repository to initialize git. You have to type git in it. Uh, and then you can specify the path where you want to initialize the git repository or you can just run this command inside the directory when you want to initialize repository. Okay. And you see on the output, initialize empty git repository in my current working directory. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna show you git status command. Uh, by this command, you can get information what's going on on your repository. Okay, there is nothing special, you know, and let's create a file, name file. Okay, and then type git status. Okay. And by this command, you can see what's going on on your repository. And you see there is a file, untracked file. So we created a file on our working directory. So it's now untracked. And if you want that Git handle it, you firstly has to move this file into staging area. You have to type git add and then the name of this file. Okay. If you type git status one more time, you see that this file is staged now. That means that it is a on staging area and it, this file is tracked now. Okay, let's clear the terminal. And if you want to save this file into Git repository, you have to type git commit minus m means message. And then you have to uh, type something on the message. My first commit. Okay, there is some information about your first commit and if you type git status, you see there is nothing to commit. And if you type git log, you see there is our first commit. There is a commit ID, you see the author, and you see the comment for this commit. 
So thanks guys for watching this video. I hope it was useful for you and you enjoy it. Please subscribe and like this video. Ciao, ciao.